There's a story from here in New York where a black teenager was cuffed, handcuffed for buying an expensive belt. This is the story in NBC New York. A 19-year-old college student from Queens says he was handcuffed and locked in jail after buying a $350 designer belt at Barney's on Madison Avenue because he is a young black man. Trayon Christian told NBC4 New York that he saved up uh, from a part-time job for weeks to buy a Ferragamo belt at Barney's. When he went to the store to buy it a few months ago, he says the checkout clerk asked to see his ID. After the sale went through, he left the store. He was approached by police about a block away and asked how a young black man like himself could afford to purchase such an expensive belt. He was hauled to the local precinct. He showed police his ID. Police uh, initially thought the ID was not real. It was, of course, eventually determined to be real. And he's filing a lawsuit on the basis that he was he was profiled essentially as how could you be buying that from Barney's when you're a young black man? Now, Barney's is saying that they were not at all involved in this incident at all. They had not, nothing to do with the police incident and that they uh, made some kind of generic statement about they're opposed to any kind of discrimination. We, we have to ask the question and we don't know the answer. I ask it honestly. How did the cops just appear a block away? If Barney's had nothing to do with it, there are people of all races all over Manhattan and to approach him a block away out of everybody who's there. Did they profile him because he had a bag from Barney's or was Barney's somehow involved? I don't know the answer, but there's a lot of missing details here, aren't there, Lewis? My guess would be that, of course, Barney's was involved. It may be impossible to uh, to determine, unfortunately. But uh, it seems impossible to me that that they had nothing to do with this. There's another story from a second black customer, Kayla Phillips, who came forward yesterday telling the New York Daily News and the New York Post that she was actually also harassed by police after buying a twenty five hundred dollar handbag from Barney's same location. She's a nursing student from Brooklyn. She told the newspapers that four officers approached her in inside a subway stop minutes after the purchase and asked her why she used a temporary debit card to buy the bag. She said, I just had opened a new bank account and this is the debit card that they gave me. We have to look at this further. I'm not ready to cast aspersions or make general statements about Barney's or about any particular individuals or groups, but we have to look into this further because something is just not adding up and it may be just a lack of information. This uh, maybe, yeah, this is strange stuff. I mean, a $350 belt, a twenty five hundred dollar purse. It's not like these people are buying uh, Bentleys, you know? Yeah, they're expensive items, but they're items that in Manhattan people buy. Uh, right, so the, the, in and of themselves, they shouldn't really be raising red flags.